everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to my very merry makeup series. Nutcrackers are such a big part of Christmas, so I had to put my own little twist on one for this look. This is a very glam nutcracker with golds and Christmas reds and lots of glitter, of course. I hope you love it as much as I do. And now if you guys are ready, let's jump into this nutcracker makeup. I'm starting off this look by popping on some eye patches to hydrate and deep puff under my eyes so a little bit of skin prep to start everything out and I'm going to be leaving these patches on for about 15 minutes. For some extra hydration, I'm going to be applying a rose oil to my skin and I'm just going to go ahead and work that in with my fingertips. I'm going to be priming my skin and I'm using a hydrating primer and we're using a lot of hydrating products to start off this look because I'm going to be using a very matte foundation. So here I'm using a matte foundation and I want the skin to look really flawless and doll-like and matte foundation is the way to go for that. Now I'm going to be concealing under my eyes and I'm using a concealer a few shades lighter than my skin tone to really brighten everything up and I'm blending that in with my brush and then going over that with a damp sponge. Then you want to lock all of that in using a pressed powder. Now I'm going to start sculpting the face and I'm using a medium shade of contouring powder and I'm starting to shape the hollows of the cheeks first the jawline, and also the temples. I'm going to prime my eyes for eyeshadow just to make sure all of those colors really pop very vibrantly on my eye and they're as pigmented as possible. And jumping into the eye look now, I'm going to be using a yellow eyeshadow first. I'm going to be blending that around the entire eye so this color should wrap around the whole eye completely. A blending brush is your best friend for this type of method. Using a camel colored shadow, I'm going to deepen up that yellow by blending into the crease area. And here I'm applying this beautiful gold shadow to the center of the lid. And I did mix in a mixing medium with the shadow to make it really liquidy. And I'm also going to bring that gold around the eye. So kind of very avant-garde with the shape, just bringing this all around the eye. Here I'm using a red shadow on the inner corner of the eye and I'm going to go ahead and top that off with some gold glitter. For the other eye, I'm using this red eye shadow, the one I used on the inner corner, and I'm going to create a blown out red smoky eye, very similar to how we did the yellow. Then using the gold shadow we used on the lid, I'm now going to be using that on my inner corner. I'm going to spritz my face with some setting mist and then I'm going to apply gold glitter all around the gold eye look. To create a really straight brow, I'm using a dark brown brow pomade and I'm going to wing out the brows and also add thickness. So these are super straight brows. To cover up some of those stray brow hairs, I'm using a white cream paint and I'm gonna go ahead and press that over those little hairs and then bake that in with some translucent powder over top. So this will add a really bright brow bone look. Using a black eyeliner, I'm gonna add some smokiness to the eyes and I'm tight lining the top and bottom waterline. Then I'm gonna be going in with a black shadow and this will really define and smoke out the eyes. Now you can pop on mascara and lashes, and I also applied some bottom lashes as well for that doll eye look. Because we want our eyes to look really big since this is a nutcracker look. For the cheeks, I'm going to be using a pink and red blush, and I'm going to create some circles at the very front of the cheeks. And this is really important to make those really round, so I'm going to be using some concealer to clean up the circle. I'm going to apply a black liquid lipstick to the lips for a more trendy nutcracker look. And I'm topping off the lips with some black glitter. And I'm just pressing that over the liquid lipstick. I'm not applying any adhesive. Using a dark brown contouring powder, I'm going to map out the nutcracker mouth and I'm drawing two straight lines down from each corner of the lips. 
Now I'm dipping into a black shadow and I'm gonna start darkening up the lines of the mouth and I'm just keeping the darkest points closest to the mouth. Now you can take a fluffy brush and shade the inner part of the lines and this will make it appear like the mouth is separate from the rest of the face. So it will look like a separate piece. Using a yellow gold highlight, I'm gonna add some glow to the skin and this will really complement all of the gold tones we have going on in the eye look. Now I'm gonna apply some glitter to the face and this will give that shiny doll-like sheen. I popped on a black wig for this look and my Nutcracker costume, and to complete the body, I'm gonna add some iridescent glitter gel to the chest. And topping that off with some gold glitter just to match the face. Also adding some more glitter to the face here because you can never have too much. Now you can pop on some black gloves to complete the look. This is the final Nutcracker Christmas makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure you like it and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you all for tuning in to my very merry makeup series, and I'll see you in my next one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh.